Hi everybody, Cynthia here. I'm back to share my personal Cricut challenge with you guys, number 91. It's due today. And we were supposed to do um, pencil treat boxes with a back to school theme one image. And I do these personal Cricut challenges with my friend Misha at Scraps and Things One. Hey Misha, and below this video I will post a link to her channel so you can head on over and get some more inspiration. Now I was inspired by, on Pinterest I saw, I'm going to show you guys, these adorable pencil tree boxes. Now these were Halloween theme, um, but the girl, the lady that made them is Anna White Designs. And then she, if you click on this on Pinterest, it takes you to her blog where she has the pencil treat box template. So I followed the template tutorial and I'll show you how mine turned out. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because I just thought they were really, really cute um, pencil treat boxes. So let me put my camera back down. And I'm going to share with you mine. But that's who inspired me. And I'll post a link below um, to her blog so you can get the, um, the template and make some if you'd like. The paper I used was a single sheet paper. I thought it was adorable. It has like a box of pencils and markers and a notebook and little paper clips and scissors. And it's just a really cute paper. Paper. Um, I got this single sheets at Hobby Lobby. I used some red and white polka dot ribbon from Celebrate It. I used some pretzel bags to put the pencil boxes in. I used pencils from the Dollar Tree. Also, these pencil grippers you can get at the Dollar Tree. Got a pack of those. And the Cricut image I used was from Plantin School Book Cricut Cartridge. And I turned to page 77. Now, last week I used the Roly Poly Apple image. This week I actually paper pieced it. So I used the Shadow Narrow Apple, the Tall Ball to go on top, and then this one I cut in green. So I did the Shadow in black, I did the regular image in green, and I did the Tall Ball image right here. Um, this one I did in red, and then what I did was I cut the stem off and just paper pieced it over the green one. Okay, so that's how I did that, and I did that at an inch and a half. And this is how my pencil box turned out. I thought it came out kind of cute. This is what they look like when they're put together with the pencil grippers in the pretzel bags. They fit really well inside the pretzel bags, and there's the grippers. So it's a cute little gift, I thought, to um, you can give them to kids for back to school, you know, the classroom. You can give them to teachers. You can give them to fellow crafters at, you know, when you're going to a crop and you want to take a little gift for everybody. This would be an awesome gift to do. These would be kind of cool to do for um, craft fairs. Um, just all kinds of ideas, but this is what the box looks like. It's really narrow. It's about a quarter of an inch. Just enough to fit in the four pencils. And then I wrapped a ribbon around here and put a button. This is my Cricut image. Sorry, I have a glue string there. And I used a scallop circle punch behind it. Used my white jelly roll pen to create some polka dots and then I have it on um, foam dots for dimension. But that's how it turned out and this one all I did was at the bottom of the box I just added some strips of tape and then let me put that aside for a second and then I just lined up the grippers on the bottom of the box and pushed them down and then just slid it into um, now I won't be able to do it there we go just slid it right into the pretzel bag to finish it off and that's it and then I used one of the, the ties 
So anyway, those are how my boxes turned out. And like I said, I will post a link below to the blog where you can get the written template. Um, and she show, tells you how to score the boxes and everything when you read it. Um, and have fun making yours. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching. Take care.